A question was asked about 911 and um, what was the meaning of that event? You know, um, in my opinion, in my read, uh, 911 was uh, conducted through Tesla technology, basically, where it was a directed energy attack that, that in essence, uh, destroyed the mass of those buildings. So it was a, 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 a conducted via weapons of mass destruction. And it seems to me that what that event perhaps was in its kind of most important reach was it was an object lesson in the destructivity of that kind of technology. That when you are dealing with waveform technology, which is what Tesla tech is, you can go into the uh, constitutional core of matter and, and cause matter to, you know, do what you want. You can transmute it, you can cause it to break apart, uh, to lose its binding force, etc., which would be to destroy it. Um, that's an enormously powerful technology. And it seems to me that given that um, that technology is so powerful that, uh, that the Earth um, uh, was given a, an object lesson in that destructivity uh, and, and that, that as part of that event, that um, what, was, what was desired as a response to that event was to institute uh, across at least the developed world uh, legislation that was legislation directed at uh, weapons of mass destruction. This would be legislation that would, in essence, be legislation directed towards a new regime of regulating availability to Tesla technology in society. That part and parcel of Tesla technology being introduced, what was required in society was, yes, not only the legislation that would allow um, collective governmental authorities to, to act um, uh, uh, in regards to the use of those kinds of technologies, but uh, in order for those technologies to actually be allowed into society, um, that there had to have been uh, full spectrum surveillance. And that only under the condition of full spectrum surveillance could you have the kind of security and safety required because that technology is so powerful. And, and not only is it so powerful, it's due to the nature of it, it's very, very simple. And because it's so simple, and it's basically a simplicity-based form of technology, because it's so simple, um, uh, it doesn't take uh, a, a phalanx of, of quantum physicists working uh, in who knows what kind of enormous black box to pull something out of the hat in terms of operational uh, use. So Tesla tech is, is destructive, potentially very destructive, and it is also um, much simpler than, than what uh, goes by the name of quantum physics. Given that the introduction, uh, the transition of society into um, this repressed kind of element of human uh, life and perception, um, the transition of society into that Tesla era, into a Tesla era, in my opinion, requires um, surveillance of that type and requires the kind of legislation that was passed post 911. So I think 911 was an object lesson in Tesla technology. And I think it provided the, uh, the basis for, for legislation being passed and for um, telecommunication companies through you know, the various uh, legislations that were passed, including the Patriot Act in the United States, et cetera, to um, basically create a system whereby, whereby an overseeing authority was given all the data. And so you see the big, you know, the big NSA facility down in the United States. It's an enormous thing, right? Uh, it's getting all the data in the world, I would think. <laughs> all of it, all the time.